Good evening everybody. Welcome to this year's first round of the ARB Off-Road Racing Australian Championship here at Rainbow. I have the club president and uh, clerk of course, or assistant class, clerk of course this year here at Rainbow, Tony Carabot. Uh, we're out here at the Steel at ARB, Big Desert 480. It's hot, the, the track's dusty, but we're going to have a cracker year for everybody four events and here we are tony the track they've been tirelessly working getting this track ready uh the dust on the first 20 or 30 k's was pretty bad and then uh into the desert for some um about 15 20 k's of sand before they start coming back around to the finish um what do you what do you got to tell us about the track mate oh look the track's in good condition it's pretty dry it's pretty tough out there um, yeah, we know it's dusty, but it's not as muddy as other years, so um, so it's really good. Yeah, we've had we've definitely had a couple of years where it's. Uh, I think we even rained out one pre-run out here one year. That's correct. Yeah, we did. So um, yeah, we swapped that over. Uh, so now it's earlier in the year, so we're not looking at that muddy section. So it's all pretty good. Um, we got about 60 cars, I think 60 or 61 cars or something. Uh, yeah, we did. We had we had 62 or 63. But unfortunately, uh, due to personal issues, a lot of people, nine people pulled out, so we ended up with 52 or 53. Yep. So it's still a good Those field. Those things it's, happen? Yeah, so we've got a strong field. We've got a good quality field, um, as you'd expect at every ARB round. So, uh, yeah, so it's, the championship's looking good. Yeah, I can't wait. We're going to uh, go for a wander around, see some cars. Cars just behind us here are starting to go through tech. Um, We'll uh, speak to you later on throughout the weekend, Tony. Thanks, Good Ian. luck. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Have a good weekend. First off here, car 128, the plant at Motorsport entry. Yeah, we had to. Everybody's got to do it sometime, mate. You ready? Car's, car's good, fresh for the season. Have you done any lead-up races, any warm-ups? No, nah, the car only... Um, we finished Dino Tuesday night. It's yeah, been. I fully, think everybody does that. It's been fully rewired. We haven't driven it. No idea what it's going to do. You went for a look around the track today. Yeah, yeah. Track was pretty gnarly, so should be good. What do you, what do you think of the uh, sections? Like, you know, there's sort of. I broke it up into three sections myself. So you got the first there with that, those long dusty roads yeah. on the way out to the desert. Yeah, the, yeah. Obviously, we'll struggle a bit in those big long straights, but. Um, and it's going to be pretty dusty by the look of it, so. But hopefully we can make up a bit of time in the sand out the back and the whoops. So yeah. we'll have a crack. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. We'll see you at the finish line. Hopefully. The uh, first of our trucks will uh, come over here. Mr. Sibson. He loves a chat. This fella. <laughs> Car four one two. He just uh, did a little race down at Portland. Didn't have too many. Oh, he had a little issue down there, but. Yeah. We no had... D in the passenger seat this year, so... Yeah, well, look, Portland was a good race, but we had just a little bit of uh, brain fade, and then we had a little bit of brake fade, and then we had a bit of paint fade. But anyway, <laughs> nothing three tins of resin, and my good mate Mark Smith, and we've re-resined it, so now it's about 2.8 tonne, but anyway, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's going to live again. No worries. Um... Anything new on the car this year? I know you've been a big I, contender of the ARB yes. Championship for years now. I've got to show you something. Okay, come Check on. This We're out. in. Check this out. We're always good to look out of, on a bit of tech stuff. I've got big nuts now, Sandy. Oh, how good is that? There you are, everybody. So that's that's my only improvement, big nuts. Okay. They, right. they help. Oh, they do. I can get them up to 300 foot pound now. As long as they're not left in D's purse, mate. That's yeah, all we need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's all right. worried about his nuts. I'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the prologue, early yep. in the morning. Yep. Well, Good luck, correct. mate. Thank you. All right. They are the Subos team. They're from down Warrigal Way in Victoria. There's, I saw there was a couple of Class 5s here this weekend. 
Um, good mix of cars as usual. Eden Evans. What's up? What do you mean, what's up? How are you? Uh, going well. How are you? I'm great. How's the team? Everyone's here. How many cars are here? We got two this uh, this time. You ready? How, how'd you I'm like ready. the track? Yeah, I mean, it's sandy, so that'll be fun. Hopefully we don't blow any belts, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> we'll pack a lot. <laughs> and the fast stuff on the way out to the desert and the way back in? Oh, yeah, I'm finally in a turbo, so I reckon that's going to be way more fun for me this year. But I've got Dad sitting next to me, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, have fun. Uh, good luck for the weekend. We'll see you tomorrow. Righto. They are. That's Eden. They've got two King Chrome cars here. I think last year they actually ran three. One of the one of the chappy cars is here. You don't have to go anywhere, mate. <laughs> We've got Clayton and Adam. Um, tell us what's what's happened in the off season, or have you been racing this year already? I'm sure you have. No, nah, not this year. We had a little test and tune up home, um, but that's about all. We didn't take the cars out to that because it's pretty close this weekend. Um, no, we just pulled them apart, had a look at everything, put them back together, and go racing. So, two J's good. Always good, mate. Yeah, uh, Clayton's uh, they've got a 2J in this thing. Sounds amazing. Did really well last year at uh, our third round. Gundy took it outright. So how do uh, how do you think about what do you think about the track this weekend yeah, on the free run? Yeah, good. It's going to be dusty out there this weekend. So prologue position is going to be pretty critical, I reckon. Yeah, not wrong. I saw the th thought the same thing as well. So yeah, yeah. We uh, if we followed uh, one of the chappy cars around <laughs> free run, so we know uh, how the how the free run went, but. All right, well, good luck. We'll see you out there tomorrow. Thanks, Well done, fellas. And uh, Stu, Stu runs solo in the second car. Going solo again this year, mate. Yeah, I'm all by myself. <laughs> all good. Chappies have been big contenders in the ARB Championship for a long time now, so uh, I'll let you go anyway. Stu's moving up to tech, so... Cool little single-seater, folks. They love their Mitsubishi motors, the Chappies, but uh, Clayton's 15 car's got a 2JZ in it. We've got, a lot, we've got about 50-something cars, they say, tell me, so I, th I th didn't realise there was a f that many dropped out, but we've got um, McGinley's there from up at Griffith Way, and uh, Land Car, Car 80 down there. That green thing looks like it's had some paint since last year. Hey, hey, buy yourself a buggy if you want. I don't know much about it, but I'm sure we'll learn. A couple of cars from up Bow and Don River locals up here. I don't know where anybody is. And not only that, I struggle to recognise them without their helmets on. So, I don't know where everyone's hiding. We might wander around Main Street there. Here we go, we're behind us. Come in and chat, come in and chat. Hey, How are you, mate? Good, mate. Long haul down? Yeah, mate, a bit of a drive for us, yeah. eh? So, wasn't first, first ARB championship? It is, mate, yep, yep. Yeah, come to have a bit of a crack this year, so, yeah. Excited? Yeah, mate, really keen, yeah, really keen to get the season going, so. Yeah. And car, cars fresh, ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Apart from the flies, yeah, the flies, flies are killer out here. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's rained out here for a little while, folks. Yeah, no, the car's good, mate, ready to yeah. go, hopefully, yeah. We just want to get through the end of tomorrow. Like the track? Yeah, mate, yeah, really fun. Like any other tracks you've seen? Yeah, a bit of sand in it, a bit like home, the yeah. Don there, so, but, yeah, it's good. So yeah, nice. It should be interesting. All right, we'll see you out there tomorrow for Prologue. Thanks very much. Yeah, a couple of, couple of Queensland folks. We've got a few Queenslanders following this championship now. A um, couple more King Chrome cars down here. They seem to be everywhere now. I'm not too sure where Trev's gone. Chandler, hiding somewhere down here. This car was a Jaguar powered car here last year. Now gone to an LS. And then, uh, oh yeah, let's go. Hey Sandy. How you going all? Long ready, time to see. ready to go? Yeah, we've been pretty much flat out since we finished Pines on this car, so just got it ready for this race. Pines was its first race last yep. year, this car? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. What changes? Uh, I don't know too much about the Class 6s, 66s and all that sort of stuff, so... Well, I'll get you started I'm with... I'm more of a four-drive guy and a buggy know. guy, but... <laughs> the, um, first of all, my sister's racing yep. the other one. Yep, yep. Yep. 
so that's cool. Um, this car we've changed. We had it was full stock, uh, like ECU and everything. So now we've got the tune in it, so we're able to not have a speed limiter. Nice. So well, yeah, I we remember can go you fast. saying that at Pines last year, it was speed limited. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see what happens. That's that's the cool part. We've been developing that, and then we've gone to King Shocks. So yeah, we're lucky enough to have Brett Kaminsky get us a wicked deal on him. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're able to run them. So we're keen as to get out there and see what they can do because everyone seems to. If you've got them, everyone reckons they're the bee's knees. Um, we've run them in a paddock. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> so we'll see how they go. Are you you're tasting the whole championship this year? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Bloody awesome. Uh, we're coming in, coming yeah. in hard, trying to get this class six. Um, title. We're super keen, especially now we've got an R. We've been waiting for an R for two years, so <laughs> yeah, we'll be having a real crack. Um, All right. Well, we'll see you out there tomorrow. Oh, actually, tell me, tell me what you thought of the track. I like to get everyone's perspective because for the folks at home, uh, we went out today and did a, a couple of hour pre-run of the track. It's about 80 k's long, I think it was. Yeah, about that. And um, my opinion is, it's bloody dusty on that first third. And even the even like last third coming back in, but the desert seems quite good. Um, your thoughts? Well, dust. It's off road racing. There's yeah, dust. Yeah, it's um, what it is. Yeah, like I think the race starts when you get to the sand. The like all that open stuff. Obviously, we're going to be hindered with the top speeds. Hopefully, we're a bit better this year with top speeds, but that's going to let us down. But yeah, the um, all that sandy stuff's going to be awesome. And I, I was, it's already rough, which was cool. Like going and checking yeah. it out. Like wow, like this is going to get super rough and going to separate the men from the boys. I think yeah. so. Hopefully we're not the boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good luck. We'll see you out there tomorrow, mate. Thanks, man. Well, there you are. A couple of drivers' perspectives on the pre-run. Hey, Rolly. Hey, how are you, mate? See him hanging out here. Rolly from Steel It, one are of the major sponsors of the the Steel It ARB de- Big Desert 480. That's us. Um, great little product. Tell me a little bit about the product while we're here, mate, as well. Well, yeah. I mean, we've only been representing it for about 12 months or so. Um, but the one thing I'd say is we've never had, we, I don't think we've had a single complaint call. You know, everybody that tries it and uses it, the people that call us back, so it's fantastic. And it, and it does work well. You know, it's... Uh, it's a weldable... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a polyurethane coating with a um, stainless steel uh, flake in it. Yep. And the, and the flake basically creates a, a, a barrier to corrosion. So yep. if you've got... You know, like these poor guys here, they got to clean their car every, you know, rub it down with uh, scotch Brite after every event. Whereas you, you never have to touch it with that. So it's got an advantage in that it's, it's corrosion resistance, but the stainless steel fleck also stops erosion. Yep. So you get stones and sand and shit flying off the wheels, and, and you'll find that you've had it and you coat it correctly, um, the car will do a full season easy without having there to you be go. touched up. I have had yeah. a few cans sent down to me. Uh, it's great for what I've used it for, yep. but uh, it's easier for you to explain it so I don't yeah, muck like up the wrong... You know, the because wrong of the stainless steel thing. in the polyurethane, you can weld it. So you don't have to scratch it all back to steel before you do a repair weld. Yep. Or if you want to put another tag on or some shit like that, you can just go straight ahead and weld it straight on. And then you just touch it up and you Way wouldn't you know that it's been done. It's, it's, um, from that point of view, it's very user-friendly. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you, Rolly. We'll no catch you out there I'll tomorrow, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, Cheers, mate. Right. For sure. We've got an uh, Ursic car. We might wander around. They're moving up They're moving up some of these cars now, so we might wander around and uh, hunt down some of these fellas as they're walking around. Like I said, they're, um, they're a little bit hard to get when they're lining up for tech, but and now they've probably all dumped their cars and done a runner on us, which is what normally happens. AJ, which was one of my top three picks, um, done quite well in the past. Car 93, he's been uh, a Lumacraft. It's um, been around a couple of years now with AJ. So beautiful, um, beautiful thing and quite successful. He's done, he's done pretty well. Then we move on to Bowie's car, car 1065. Uh, also, actually destroyed class 10 with his. Uh, he's got a K24 in the back of this thing, and um, it's it's just uh, dominated its class since um, day dot. Then we've got one of the Forsman entries. I'm not too sure how many are here. I know I did see a couple on there, but I think um, I think maybe one of the fellas has uh, hurt his back. Was what the, the goss that I heard? One of the Forsman entries. 
class two. I couldn't tell you what motor it's running because I haven't got that info in front of me, but we will tell you everything about every car that we can tell you or that we know over the weekend. Cola Sentry, 147. Henderson, 477. Dock's truck, the uh, RB30 powered um, 445. Been around a while in the game. First of the two Burroughs entries, father and son. Now this car with the number three, with the yellow number three on the front there, that tells us that he came third out right in the championship last year. And Matty did a cracker job last year um, steering this thing. They did really well. Don't know. I don't see. I don't know if we see any turbos bolted to the back of it yet. No, no turbos bolted on the back yet. But. Um, he might be allowed to get them later in the year with any luck. All the action seems to be back down the street already. So that's Mark's Mark's Monk Fabrications car. I think it was new early last year, the start of last season. Very nice looking car and super quick. Super quick. This this Patterson. 44 vehicle was an ex um, I forget where it derived from but I know it came from the ex Robe Earth Movers car from over in Robe in South Australia fresh fresh wrap on that, looks fantastic Jordan Patterson Franklin entry they've been around at a few events now the Franklings they have done uh, definitely last year's championship and a couple of events the year before that I remember. We've got Matty Hummer's car, car 633, uh, sponsored by Raceline, which is one of the championship sponsors. They came on board last year, and we're very thankful for that. We've got ARB and Mickey Thompson also sponsoring the championship this year. 611. I don't know too much about that car myself. I, got, I actually have Shane here sh throwing notes at me while we're here. Brendan Hill, Matthew, Matthew Dix in that car for the weekend. So Then we've got the pup. We're getting closer to people down here. And we've got, this is a car that many of you know or may know and a person that many of you may know. Chris West and this car went to Baja. No, not this no, one. No, not this wasn't this no, car. It's no, the this other one, car. This one that me and Coops Sorry. built. Yes. Yeah, that was um, a long time ago, mate, when I was yeah. young. <laughs> um, Ten years ago you, now. You excited? Now, I've got to tell you, I saw this fella. He's done Baja, but I saw him bogged on top of a hill today. No, you didn't. I did. I saw a lean I tell you up. what. There was bloody traction <laughs> control, some squiggly little bloody button thing. That's what happens. I, I, should, I should let first, him drive. When I first got my 200, I had to Google how to put it in full oh. drive, and I had a full drive business for 20-plus <laughs> years. So It's bloody terrible, mate. Luckily, um, um, yeah. How, luckily how, what did you think of the track, out. apart from the well, little incident? Well, Coops and I, we went out for a contest in the first 10 k and said, Coops, mate, this is going to be a beautiful weekend. And then we saw those bloody big whoops out there. Yeah. Went, Holy moly. So there's a few, there's actually a few uh, areas out there that are big drop offs. Yeah. You know, you've yeah. really got to pull up early or get ready to ride it out because they're huge drop offs on the other That's side. That's it, either commit or just roll them. Yeah. Um, but I think if I just said to Coops, you know, if we can finish the weekend, that's an achievement in itself, really, isn't it? You know, and for, so for I this think sort it's uh, one of Australia's longer races. And the straights are so long, so that'll be good. Um, he likes going fast. I like the corners. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why he's doing Sunday and I'm going to do Saturday. So as it gets rougher, he can sit in there and do that. But no, we, we like the track, don't we? Yeah. It's good track. Yeah. yeah. everything too. It is. From yeah. sands to straight to red red stuff. and Even a tractor. I We've saw that. that. <laughs> What's the go with that? There's a tractor. The farmer goes, that's, that's where my grandfather stayed. parked it. And that's where it's staying. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. So no, All right, well, we're excited. Good luck, boys. We'll Thank see you out there on the weekend, I'm sure. It's going to be uh, a lot of fun. The crew from Rush Trucks yep. in Queensland, the Western boys. I'm going to I'm gonna holler the burrows. Can I step in here? I'm with the burrows father and son cars that we saw before. Car 21, 
Had to look there for a second. I should have known that. And car three this year. Yes, number three. So we had a pretty good run last year. And I'm going three. the mic to you first because you finished better last That's year. That's right. Yeah, no. <laughs> and we, we tell him about it as well. But, yeah, no, we had a good run last year and hoping we can sort of back it up again this year. And go. I, I was disappointed to not see the turbos on that car yet. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> track, what did you think of the track anyway? Yeah, same as we love coming here. It's great, you know. It's got a bit of rough stuff, a bit of fast stuff. The My car comes alive a bit in the rough, so, yeah, it'll be, be good. Yeah, really enjoy, looking forward to it. And, Mark, what did you think of the track today? Your car's ready to go. It came out fresh last season. It's been should have been shaken down by now, shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It's... Uh... We've changed a lot of things since last season yep. on it, so uh, made it made it heaps of improvements, and uh, you're always trying to improve something on them, but yep. it all seems to be working well. Track looks great, fantastic, so, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting into it. All right. Well, I'm sure I'll be shoving a microphone in your face throughout the weekend, boys. Uh, don't hate me for it, but we'll see more of these guys on the weekend from uh, the Burroughs camp. Yep, sure will. All right. Thanks Cheers, very mate. much, mate. Cheers. They are Mark and Matt Burroughs, father and son team. They've been... Contending championships for a long time, Marks. Got a couple under his, under his belt. Six. Hey, hang on. The Coog. Car 68. The Barnett entry from Cougar Racing. We saw you guys uh, wander around on the pre run in a 79 series leaf sprung rear end jobby. Yeah, yeah. Um, I need to be on my tippy toes to be next to this fella. What did you think of the track? Wait, the track's good. Uh, you, fun- ca- you came last year anyway. Yeah, yeah we've been here the last two years. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, no, third in class the first year, second last year, so a bit of pressure's on us. A few people have moved into our class and not going to help our cause, but, <laughs> yeah, no, looking forward to it, yeah. Any changes to the car? It looks, no, came in looking very, very nice this evening. It's had a full birthday. We've just spent it, yeah, it's, it's uh, 11 year old and it's just had a full strip, so yep. there's, there's nothing on that car we haven't touched, so... No, looking forward to it. Well, I'm hoping everything going back together pretty good. Has gone back together pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we're happy with it. So we don't worry. You've little, done, you've little done bit a nervous. test. Yeah, we took it around the paddock, you know. Yep. Yeah, yeah she's nice. probably done five k's flat out, so <laughs> that'll be enough. No, looking forward to it. Okay. Track looks well, good. Good luck. No, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, mate. Yeah, that's the Barnett 68 entry of this this car right here. These guys have been contending for a couple of years now, and uh, LS powered car sounds amazing. They did have an issue with pines last year, I think, with oil pressure or heating or something when they came in. And here, a little beam car. Now, this car here came second outright in the championship last year, the Middle Miss car. I don't know where they are. They're probably hiding as well. Actually, I'll tell you who will grab as he's walking past. Bowie. You in the car this weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Bowie and his daughter in the car this weekend in the little 1065 car you saw earlier, that that red Alumacraft. Anything special? You wouldn't need to do anything different, mate, because I saw how quick it was last year. No, nah, we haven't really changed anything. We are going to maybe play with the suspension a little bit because, like I say, in the sand out there we seem to struggle. So we'll make a couple of changes there tomorrow and then um, if that's good, we'll, yeah, we might put a bit more in for Sunday because it definitely changes after the first two laps. Just tell me a couple of interesting, couple of little things about your car. Tell me what motor's in it. So it's got a Honda K24, two yep. and a half litre. How much fuel does it hold? Uh, 190. What? Well, it holds 190 litres, but I only really need probably... Oh, it's pretty good on economy at maybe two and a half uh, kilometres to the litre. Oh, yeah. yeah so, right. so so tell me on Sunday, for example, you go out for 490 in? No. No, 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 way. no. no, no we'll do the numbers. I was going to say, that's going to be heavy out there yeah. on the, in the sand. Yeah, no, we'll do the numbers. We'll get a fair idea what it'll use. And, yeah. yeah, we'll put a buffer in, maybe an extra 20 or 30, and work it out on San Diego. And then, yeah, we'll um, put in the amount we need for the first two. Plus some. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just a little you bit. You always yeah. need that plus some. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you excited to go around this weekend? Oh, yeah, I think so. Oh. You are. How's it, how do, what do you think of the track? Um, well, it's basically the same as last year. Yeah, it hasn't, doesn't look like it's changed. Yeah, all right. Well, good luck. We'll see you out there tomorrow. Right, on, thank you. Cheers there, uh, Bowie, Bowie and Ella. They uh, run that 1065 car, Alumacraft down the other end there.
110 Tucker entry, Southern Cross frame, which is a local Aussie built car. I actually don't know too much about this 1074 car. Someone's more than welcome to tell me about it. I'm sure it's been around the traps and uh, done some well. Some, some uh, good vents, sorry. Now, this is an interesting car. I can't see the shiny man's head anywhere, but this is the Van der Wood entry. Done a lot of um, a lot of events over the years. Here's a Van der Wood. <laughs> You're running to talk to me. Navigating or driving? I'm navigating the last two laps. My brother Isaac is navigating the first four. Yeah. Nothing different on the car this year. This is Millie, by the way. Yeah, we've got a new 10-inch diff, so Camberg Housing and Gearworks Centre. Yep. A bit stronger than normal. Uh, that last race, when was I don't remember the last race I saw this thing race, but doesn't mean it hasn't raced since I was there last. I also don't remember the last <laughs> race. It was in 2022. There you go, back from a little bit of a stint off. Yeah, and we broke down, so didn't even finish. <laughs> All right, well, there you are, Millie. What did you think of the track today? I really like this track. It's got some good fast stuff, so I'm pretty keen for it, as long as the truck holds up until the last two laps. <laughs> now, the um, you have have you raced here before? Yeah, Darren and I raced in 2022 and we got first in class. There you go. All right, good luck. We'll see you out there tomorrow. Thanks. Okay. Millie in the Vandy entry, 554. They're going to do well this weekend. They actually do quite well most of the time. <laughs> now, here's one of the big boys. Bo Robbo. I can't see him. We might uh, try and catch up with him later. One of the Robertson boys. They've been bred into off-road uh, through their late father, Brian. And um, you'll see the trucks dressed up in his colours back from back in the day. Class 11. We've got another Class 10. Hilly single-seater. There's a couple of single-seaters amongst it. Now, we've got the two Martin entries. I'm going to hollow them no matter what. Here he is. Last year's big dog, Brent Martin. And Dale, I can see you. You can come in here too, mate. Uh, ready to go this year, mate? Yeah, should be good fun. Um, track looks good. and i uh, got my new navigator Mick in, in for the weekend. Um, not new, but Andre's had um, another kid, so congratulations to him and his family. And um, Yeah, so he's, he's going to take the weekend off and let, let one of the other boys in and be good. Now, coming off uh, a championship win, that's massive. For anybody that's done it, that's massive. You've done it more than once now. And uh, what, are you, what are you thinking with everybody chasing you down this year? Uh, we just do our own thing, mate. Like you normally do, to be honest. Yeah, I can't think about anyone else. So, like, <laughs> um, we've got a bit more power this year, so hopefully, yeah, I'm just excited to well, give, actually, give it a I run. heard the car come out of the uh, tech before. The car sounds uh, a lot different to normal. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Looks awesome. Got got some new race line rims on there, um, so she's looking real good. And um, yeah, the engines engines purring. Ron Milton's um, built us a four and a half litre. Uh, out, of, out of a three and a half litre BQ, so it's going to be really uh, interesting to see what it can do and, and where it's going to help us. So yeah, it'll be good. Track conditions, they look. I believe everybody's telling me they're the same, similar to last year. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, yeah, the, what the prologue's been smoothed out a bit, so that'll be um, probably pretty quick. And um, out the back, just yeah, same brutal stuff. You just you'll be happy when you get to the end of those bumps every lap. I'll be like, yes, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, well, good luck, Brent. We'll see you out there tomorrow. I'm gonna have a quick yeah. chat with Dale, Brent's brother, who used the old man's car there for a little bit last year. Had a little bit of dramas early on last year with this car, but you're back with full force. Yeah, we are. Thanks, Andy. Uh, yeah, good to be back. We love coming here. We've been here. <laughs> I don't know, four or five years now, and I uh, love coming to the little town of Rainbow. It's it's a really nice weekend away for the family, and yeah. and uh, no, we wouldn't wouldn't miss it. Tell me about your car now, mate. Uh, it's been a work in progress for 12 months. Bought the car two years ago, and it's just been a bit of a road to where we are now, a bit of a rough road. Uh, but uh, got, a, got a few people in our paddock that are real good help. Dean Williams has been phenomenal. Everything he does to help us, we wouldn't we wouldn't be here without him. 
and Craig and the whole team, but we've got a good package, we think. Hopefully go and have some fun and uh, good, safe fun. And that's what we're hoping for. It's a, a good weekend. All right. Well, good luck, mate. These the Marns for a long line of champions this weekend. So uh, this this uh, crew. So hopefully this year, what I'm trying to say is you can come up with some goods too yourself, mate. You've had a bit of a bit of a throne the last couple of years. Oh, we've done all right. We've, we've got a few podiums there. We've had a few things not go our way, but look, yep. dragging as the, we all do. Dragging, off, that's off road racing happens to everybody. Dragging, so. dragging the family all over the countryside. It'd be good to get a good result. Yeah. So we'll see how we go. All right, well, good luck for tomorrow's the prologue, Thank and we'll you. see you out there on the weekend. Thank you. See Enjoy the finish it. line. They are the Martin brothers. Their father, Craig, has been in the game for a long time, popped a couple of championships in his day as well. Car 128, and then Sibo's car that we saw come through tech earlier. We might go for a wander. We might be able to catch some of the guys down the back here getting out of their cars after tech. Now, this orange Triton here is a bit of a piece of history. It's been around a long time, done a lot of races. It was a local Sea Lake car, I think, for a long time. So I don't know if it's still in, in that club. But uh, it gets around. They do a lot of championship races still. They usually perform quite well at Pines. I'll tell you what, who was spotted in the crowd? Jake Williams with the XOBR truck. I don't. I don't know that enough about trucks, probably. Tell me about it. Where have you travelled from? Where are you travelling to? Uh, hopefully we're travelling all the way to the finish line. That'd be a really good start. <laughs> uh, since uh, the side-by-side -side days, I think it was like 2018, since we've actually finished the full race. So we've led plenty. And hey, we, we've had a couple of years of that ourselves in my own camp. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely come to the off-road game. But, yeah, as you said, it's uh, ex uh, Bo Robinson truck, so... Uh, got that uh, l last year, um, and yeah, we, we ran a few rounds last year, a few teething issues. Uh, we done a full overhaul this off season, so looking for a, a good charge this year. Feeling comfortable in it, in it now? Yeah, I haven't actually drove it since Pines. I mean, it's been around the car park and the industrial estate, but um, yeah, I'm feeling comfortable. The prep's been good, uh, and just understanding the car a little bit now, and we'll freshen up should be good. This thing should absolutely dominate this track. What did you think of the track out there? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I think the passengers in the Ram didn't really appreciate it as much as I did in the driver's seat, and the uh, rear coil springs are probably hate me a little bit as well. But no, the, the track's good. Uh, it's definitely going to be a truck track, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got some some great drivers here. Bo's going to be super fast in that new Mason. So um, yeah, we'll just try and get through tomorrow, and then uh, make a charge for it towards the end of the weekend. All right. Well, good luck. Good luck in prologue tomorrow, mate. Thank you. They are Jakey Williams. Sun's a bit bright over here, isn't it? Oh, the beer's getting warm on the front. I oh, know, that's right. Yeah. No, I'm not drinking beer. <laughs> we'll swing the camera around a second. Now, tell us, we've seen this car out here before. Tell me a bit about it. A 93 car's my car, mate. Oh. Yeah, down the other end. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Um, so, tell us, tell us about it. Uh, well, we'll just come out to race. We've raced here, I was just saying, Huddy, I've raced here. This is the, the uh, fourth time I've raced here. I've never finished, so we'll see what happens. What do you think of the pre-run out there? Yeah, it's good. I did actually race here when it was wet and it was pretty horrible, so it was good that it's dry. Um, the sand's probably the smoothest it's going to be all weekend today, so we'll just sort of see what happens. That was pretty chopped up anyway, wasn't it? Uh, for the pre-run, like it was, the, it's not getting any better, but I don't think it's getting much worse. Maybe the corners will dig out. I know some of the corners. We've done a recovery out in the corner where you dip into the desert myself in the past, and that'll get out to about two metres deep in the corners. But uh, the whoops, I don't think the whoops will change too greatly. Yeah, well, they're just sort of all out of rhythm here, so you, you never really get any rhythm like you might do, say, up at Alice. 
Um, so it's just a bit of a wrestle, really, I suppose, to try yeah. and stay on top of them. And you, you might get going pretty good, and then all of a sudden there'll be a 90 degree corner. You got to get off them and then start all over again. And there's a couple of uh, fairly well, they're steep climbs. Not, not when you're moving, but when you're coming off the other side of them, they drop away pretty quickly. Yeah, they have a new one there this year, actually, that uh, hasn't been in the track before, so that might catch a few out. Um, but yeah, I'm in the car by myself, so I don't have anybody else to blame if something goes wrong. Yeah, that's important. That's, uh, that's Oh, well, good luck. We'll see you out there tomorrow. Good luck in Prologue, and uh, see you at the finish line this year. All right, thanks, mate. Good on you. <laughs> I've got Wellesie here with me. This year on the commentary, uh, normally Darren and Glenn do the commentary. Lee steps up for a little bit. This year we've got... Uh, Darren's not making this year. He's a little bit ill, so good luck to him getting better. We hope he's back on track very soon. And uh, tomorrow, Wellesie, we're going live at about 8.30, I believe. 8.30, yeah, look forward to it, mate. Um, it's great to be up here at Rainbow. Perfect weather, good luck, group of cars. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, Darren couldn't make it, so uh, between me and Dad, we'll um, team up with Sandy and um, bring you as the best coverage we can for the weekend. So, with all the cameras... Um, we've got a phenomenal amount of cameras and uh, drones, the whole lot going out there. We've got a few out in the field, as per last year, so it should be a cracker amount of footage you can get across this year. Yeah, every year it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and better and better, and... Um, They've done a great job, so the amount of um, you, you, everything you're going to get from your land room at home, it'll be great. So uh, tune in, should be a great weekend. All right, folks, we'll wrap it up now, and uh, welcome to this year's 2024 Championship, the ARB Australian Off-Road Racing Championship, also backed by uh, Mickey Thompson and Raceline Wheels out here at Rainbow for the steal at ARB Big Desert 480. We'll see you in the morning about 8.30. Cheers. <laughs>